Hello friends, Techman Pat here, and finally I got my hands on a robot for my lawns. And let me tell you, I've been waiting for something like this since I was a wee lad. <laughs> Not because mowing the lawn is a time sink, though it is. No, no, I've had a crazy allergy to grass, so I wear literally a muzzle to survive the mowing. So when Segway reached out and offered to send me the Navimo for review, I was super excited. The weight made my expectations go through the roof, and I was pumped. This is the Segway Navimob, the wire-free robot lawnmower that's going to save you hundreds of hours per year, so you can do more important things like review robot lawnmowers. <laughs> so does the Navimo live up to its own hype train? Does it match the expectations set by the marketing team? Will it mow your lawn? It's a good question, actually. Well, let's find out in this video. Big thanks to Segway for sending me the bot for review. Links below where you can find it for sale at a local distributor, but no spoilers, the price will raise an eyebrow or two. Let's get started by rolling the intro. The Segway Navimov, as you can see, is quite large, but this means it has a lot of space for other fun things. For example, batteries. This model here can do up to 800 square meters in total on a single charge. The area behind me takes 3% of the battery, and that's impressive. There are bigger models that go up to 3,000 meters squared, which is insane. Then we have the powerful hub motors with very grippy 50 millimeter rubber wheels, though sometimes too powerful as it can eat up weak patches of grass pretty quickly. Now, keeping that in mind, shockingly, the bot can climb up to 45% inclines, so if your property is a crazy angle, this should be fine. Now, as you can see from the shape of the cutting rotor up here, it's obviously to one side. The rotor has three small razor blades and the actual rotor module can also move up and down to give you a 30 millimeter cut all the way up to 60 millimeter cut if you like your grass a little bit taller. And this setting can be automated to the area, which is awesome. And more on the app in a second. Setting up the robot is extremely simple. I was surprised how easy it is. I put down the base station at a location away from the sides of the house, our trees, and in a central point. And for me, that works to be around the center of the lawn. But I do have a few ideas on tucking it away in the future. Next to the docking station, you mount the satellite antenna unit. And it's best to have no obstructions anywhere because it is going to be communicating with satellites in the sky. But if that is an issue, you can purchase an antenna extension kit to mount it further away from buildings and trees. I would highly recommend getting this just to reduce the amount of stuff near the base station. Now, once connected with the waterproof cables, you're ready to fire up the bot. Just push it into place and it'll start charging. And this is where the fun kind of starts. You get to do some rally driving and by that I mean you get to drive the Navimov around like a little remote control robot all the way around your grass patch to mark its boundaries because it is wire free. This process, in all honesty, is quite fun and the bot is responsive to your controls, which is surprising. Once a section of grass is nicely cordoned off digitally, you're ready to set the Navimov off to do its thing. And the first thing you'll notice is how quiet it is. And when I first heard it, I thought, oh, well, once the blades start spinning, it'll be loud. But when they did, all you could hear is the grass scream in terror. And by that, I mean just the whip across the grass. The Navimov is seriously quiet at less than 54 decibels. You can run this day and night and nobody's gonna notice. Now the cutting rotor is located offset to the right. It's not large, but it seems to do the job effectively as the robot navigates its paths. Uh, the path seems to be very efficient, left to right like a snake through the aisles. And not to leave scars on your lawn, the Navibot switches up the direction it starts from every time it mows. So you don't get those grooves into the grass, you just get fresh, nice grass. Now the lowest cutting height is 30 millimeters, which with my Perth grass is perfect. Unfortunately, we have limitations on how often we can turn the sprinkler on and water isn't particularly cheap. So during summers like this, our grass is more sand, but in winter, it turns into a nice green jungle. Now, speaking of winter, the robot is weatherproof. It can take on the rain by falling into a pool. And because the Perth's winter are pretty mild, I can see this working much better than, and you can leave it outside the whole time. As the grass grows, the robot will end up controlling the grass. Now, my suggestion is building a little 
plastic roof just in case the sun gets the better of it. After all, it can get quite warm in Perth. Now, the three blades look small, but have been able to deal with thick grass and tall grass extremely well. I threw this into the deep end and it did extremely well. The execution with this robot is that you do a one-off mow with your standard mower and you let the Navimov keep your grass under control from here on in. I didn't do this, but if you do have very thick grass, that's my suggestion. So does it actually do a good job? Well, yes, it really does. And for the last few weeks, turning this on every Wednesday morning on a schedule after the bin run uh, via the app, the lawn is looking really good as far as it can look on a current season. And I don't have to deal with grass pollen nor get out a loud mower, which is awesome, especially when your kiddo's asleep or the neighbors are asleep in the morning. Having the Navimov do its thing once per week means the lawn never grows out of control and it stays nice and plush. Now, as you can see, it doesn't get quite close to the boundary edge just because of the distance here and it does keep away to not get snagged. So you'll, every so often you'll need to grab out your hand trimmer and give the outside a bit of a clean. Now, let's talk navigation. From what I can tell, the Navimov smart navigation algorithm can plan the most efficient cutting route and it makes changes on the fly and it seems to work really well. The front has a bumper that will tell the bot to back up and try again if it hits something and it seems to work well when the actual AI misses it and more on the AI in the moment. Now, using the real-time kinetic positioning system, the positioning is ridiculously accurate. It's up to a centimeter level and from what I can see, yeah, it pretty much is in a roundabout way. Now, to maintain its positioning, the bot utilizes the EFLS system, which stands for the Exact Fusion Locating System, which means the base station syncs with the robot, the robot syncs with satellites, and then the antenna completes the loop back to the base station from the satellites. And pair that with the bot's odometer, accelerometer, gyro, and compass, you have that centimeter accuracy on the ground. Now, Navimov will adjust depending on your loan conditions, but I haven't really been able to discern how it changes itself to adapt, except when it eliminates repetitive movements by mixing up the path settings, which in all honesty is actually quite smart and probably enough for me anyway. The Vision Fence module on top provides, on paper, AI object detection. Now, Segway has trained the AI, just like ChatGPT gets trained with lots of real world objects, and with its 140 degree lens out the front, it does seem to know what's in front, which is great when you've got a robot with blades. It will identify and add it to the map and go around the object as long as it's large enough. Now, I have a dog and well, it doesn't really dodge the planted mines by my dog, and if you know what I mean. I didn't expect it to because to be honest, it can already blend into the grass and I have trouble spotting them whenever I mow the lawn, so there's that. Now, Vision Fence also helps when the GNSS signal is low. It will identify boundaries and stay within them while the satellite signal reconnects, especially if it goes under a roof or a patio. Now, this works great when also going around sides of the house when it's further away from the antenna. Hence why I say mount the antenna as high as possible, like on a roof edge. Now, what's important is actually preparing your lawn. And like with robot vacuums, you need to clear off the lawn of small items, uh, dog bones, toys, rocks, which you'd normally do before mowing your own lawn with the old fashioned way. In this case, it can save time when you set the Navimov off and walk away. Now, with all the exciting bits out of the way, let's talk safety because at the end of the day, your backyard isn't supposed to be the BattleBots arena. Put simply, Segway has prioritized safety with the blade design and instant stop system. With built-in sensors, anything bar grass getting close to the blade will stop the blades from spinning. They're also quite small and won't be taking off any fingers anytime soon. The big red button at the top allows you to stop at any time you're near the robot and can reach to the big red button. With all that in mind, let's talk about the app because no matter how good the hardware is, and it's very good and solid and well built, the software needs to keep up. And since the Naming Mob has been out for a few years now, and finally in Australia, lots of updates have gone through, and at this point, it seems like everything is functioning as intended. There was a few hiccups with signals, but a retry seemed to fix it, and I haven't had any issues since, just on the initial setup, which again was pretty quick and easy, apart from having to watch the 
instructable videos. Like, come on, I think I can figure it out. Now, within the mapping module, if your lawn is in two separate areas, for example, front and back, you can create a connector in between so Navimov can get between the two as it mows one area and then transitions to the next. Now, as long as your antenna is at a high as possible area and there's no obstructions, you'll have a flawless experience, hence my recommendation for that antenna extension kit, which is 150 Australian dollars. Now, the robot is heavy and it's inconvenient to pick up and run away with, but if that happens, the robot has an anti-theft function built in, such as an alarm and a pin code. In fact, it also has a 4G module to know where it's gonna go, or at least communicate back to your app. Finally, let's talk about the price. Let me set the context here. The latest EcoVac D-Bot X2 home robot cleaner is two and a half thousand Australian dollaroos. The Navimov is 2,999 for this model specifically, which can do up to 800 meters squared. While the highest model at 3,999 can do 3,000 meters squared, which is insane, the middle ground is 1,500 meters squared for 3,499. Now, the big price is for big performance. The Navimob has great cutting performance, great navigation, satellite and 4G connectivity, and with a crazy long battery life. It's large for that reason. The robot is well-engineered product, and it's, look, it's priced to match. So who is this for? Well, in my mind, if you have a large property with a nice grass surrounding your home, like many Perth homes where there's only a big patch of nice grass around your home and everything else is just bush, I would imagine you also have bore water to keep your grass nice and green. And you wanna have your grass stay nicely trimmed all year around with little effort. Well, then this is for you. Big thanks to Segway for sending the Navimov for review. Links below where you could grab your very own robot mower. While you're there, make sure to like and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you all another one. Bye.